What is going down, tech fans? As you can see, what I've already gotten pulled up right over here before we get to the 21.1.1 brand new AMD software that I have taken a good thorough analyzation to to see what the median swore. And it's not too bad. There's some stability. Uh, definitely not game changing like we saw with the 2019 to 2020 leap. But my name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel. Today's tech related plate of news that we're going to digest together is going to be the new Radeon Adrenaline software. What does it offer? How does it work with DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 between the variants of 1080p and 4K? We'll get to some benchmarks, but first, let's go ahead and get to some patch notes, shall we? As opened up in a nice teaser for the benchmarks before we get into the patch notes, is we will see that the 1080p of DirectX 11 comes down to a nice stability with the newer driver. Hardware accelerator on with the portion on the top and hardware accelerator off on the bottom newer driver on the right and left on the same scenarios for as far as the older driver so versus is going to show you a lot of stuff as i had pulled up the main metric overlay you can see that the newer driver is beaten by the older driver with the hardware accelerator off with the new current windows update which they did do a lot of shuffle and truffle with that situation that made you feel like you were going to go find some you know baby ruth bar and some goonies adventure the point that i'm getting at is now we can actually at least rely on about 100 points give or take which is not that bad when you're looking at graphics with a toggle of a hardware accelerator off and on so you should be seeing some nice game play for 1080p leave a comment down below if you are not and what gp are you utilizing i would like to know for as far as that let's go ahead and get to our news as we slam in and see the support for hitman and it's increased bragging portions of 10 percent they say over the newer driver versus older driver you will see that the quake also gets a rtx lift as they're adding more support recording software comes into the portion for as far as the default position and you want to make sure you check that all your inputs are therefore realigned so if you have a capture card any microphones these may be something they hit the default position that you're wondering why is the recording not working that could be it performing a metrics overlay for as far as the size inside of the resets and the values may not be in the Radeon software after performing a task switch has now been fixed and the software installed that comes down to the display and the incorrect release dates when installing your version correctly. I've had that happen to me a few times. For as far as the performance metric overlays may flicker during the video playback on displays with HDR enabled, you also see the reflection in GTA coming down to a well failure rate when the reflection of the MSAA comes into the enabled game settings. Pug G also comes down to a session and the timers continue with the Radeon software even after the game has been exited. Doom Internal also comes down to the experienced application crashes where the game may have some stream overlay enabled issues. Now have been fixed. Again, these are all the fixed issues. So if you are experiencing it, leave a comment. I'd like to hear what everyone has to say. What GPU, what CPU are you using? I'd like to know the tandemness of that. But the recorded content also comes down for the Radeon software it may appear. Uh, let's see here for as far as incorrect resolutions inside of the Vega series inside of the graphic productions Samsung and the Odyssey of the G9 coming down to the experience displays and corruptions and the issues for as far as what is the 5 120 versus the 2k standard right over there at 240 Hertz that is one big freaking long screen that that's wide it's ultra wide but on top of that for as far as the filtering in the Radeon graphics setting and not taking effect for as far as the DirectX 9 and the applications on the RDNA productions of graphics. Now looking at for as far as the displays and the C series for as far as Samsung's and the Odyssey 9 yet again may experience some intermittent black screens for as far as the RX 6000's but no more. They are telling us these are fixed. Oculus Link is the last thing on the fix list as we see the experience in the intermediate crashes for the Polaris inside of Vegas series productions. Now let's go ahead and go down to our known issues as we can kind of see that they're not as big around as what they used to be. For as far as what you can see I've highlighted, you can see flickering comes down to that, but a lot of that can be disabled by the FreeSync if it comes down to a portion with full screen. Um, for as far as the other portions that you can see for the high refresh rates, you can also back those off. And Metro Exodus, those come down to direct portions for ray tracing. And you see Radeon recording coming down to the features for as far as failed the enabled with the 78 series 
Now, flickering also observed in the MSI Afterburner and the enabled sync that caused black screens to enable during some gameplay system configurations and the issues that were enhanced by that again by the sync enable temporary workaround uh disclaimer uh, they would like to say about that whole thing about them testing blah 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 you can read that if you like but that's the end of pretty much what we have for as far as the patch notes so they're telling us some direct support they're telling us they fixed some stuff but let's look at the benchmarks let's see what the results are shall we as the extreme portions of DirectX 11 come into gameplay, you can see that these scores come out to, well, a little bit edge-wise for the older driver. Now, for again, stability definitely does come out as a great standard, and even though you definitely do see some percentage drops by like a little bit with the graphics score coming down when you definitely compare it to where we are with the 83 over there. Now, moving on to the Ultra. Now, as Ultra comes into the fork play of 4K, we can see that we have to have a nice situation that's pretty much even across the board. You don't see any things for as far as sliding past the 74%, and the graphics score seems to be almost pretty much even except for the older driver. Somehow the older driver definitely does have some edge points with this newer Windows, but I would say stay tuned for a brand new Windows update before that all... well that just gets confusing at that point in time but that's what mid-patch notes are for but before getting down to that point let's go ahead and go to DirectX 12 so we can get out of this with the time spy 76 is the percentage that everything is going to be chilling at now for as far as seeing with the driver that's going to come out finally the newer driver in DirectX 12 tends to favor what's going down just by a little bit graphically speaking so you will actually have that with the hardware accelerator on taking an edge point now for as far as the extreme with 4k well, the old score is going to end up being the old driver. Look at that. Just by a percentage of nothing. All 66 across the board. And you can see that basically the hardware accelerator off, which we can see right over here, is just a few points from exactly the hardware accelerator on in the old one. So, I mean, it, it's really nominal when it comes down to that by four graphic points when you look at the actual fine definition of those. So the newer one, we can see over here, it's really not that big of a deal. It seems like DirectX 12 is going to come into a nice standpoint for people to actually have some nice gameplay. So to sum it up, stability, it seems like what AMD is trying to do, fix some bugs and not lose any ground. I think that's what they may have done with the new windows now with a newer windows circumvent for as far as what they may actually have may offer some better performance as seen in other updates that i have tested back to back you will always get a better fps increasement with a windows driver later on down the road after a graphics driver has been released it doesn't always work that way but it is a nice um safe bet nowadays that i've been kind of testing it and seeing this if you're new to the network you can always like share and subscribe for brand new tech neck news for as far as what we will be getting ourselves hopefully not head above water with our next drenched and awesome information from as far as what amd will be offering us in the near future so hit that notification bell crack it like liberty bell and i'll see you guys and gals in the near future for more tech related news